Yeah, hi team. Yeah, yeah. Before we are going to start our training from October 10th. So before that, uh, we should have installed few things and we should have some accounts ready. Then we can start directly um, the learning from um, coming Monday. So these are the pre four prerequisites. You should have a Microsoft Teams account. Um, please register with your Gmail. Um, already have it. Um, I think most of you already done. If you didn't, please do that. Okay, here I'm going to explain how to install, how to um, get an account on all these things. So if you are completely new, uh, please follow these steps uh, step by step, and it's easy. Okay, if you are facing any issues, uh, already you are part of WhatsApp group, right? So just ping me there. I will try to help you. So first thing is Microsoft Teams account. So just open your uh, like Google Chrome or anything the browser and just type Microsoft uh, Teams free account. Okay, so definitely you will get some URL available. Just click on this link and uh, okay sign up for free if you just click on sign up for free um, it will allow it will ask like your gmail id or your mobile number please don't register with your mobile number please use a gmail id to register in microsoft teams okay once you registered uh, okay already have shared uh, shared our microsoft teams url to you so if you click on that and just ping me hi so that i will accept your request then you can join the meetings from monday okay this is the first step you should do so just type your gmail id and go next or next or something just create uh, any kind of uh, gmail account uh, like microsoft account doesn't matter this is the first step okay the second one is you should have a account in the github because in the first day itself we are going to create a simple website and we are going to publish in a github don't worry what is github and what it is i'm going to explain everything in coming days so just just type github.com in the browser you will get this screen so same click on sign up so it will ask few questions okay maybe it will ask your email id please always use the same email id for microsoft teams account and github so that it's easy okay there is no restriction to use the only one but uh, if you use one it will be easy for you to remember and everything um, okay just enter your email id and it will ask few questions um, just answer those things it's very simple and just create an account and uh, once you create an account um, just give a confirmation in the whatsapp group Mm, or if you are facing any issues um, post in that group because already many students are there uh, at least who already completed they will help you okay this is the second step first step is you should have a microsoft teams account and second with your gmail id email uh, email id whatever it is you can register one account in github second step is also done the third one is we should install visual studio code okay this is the code editor for us we are going to use an, an entire uh, like throughout our life maybe in next five to six years because this is the this is the most popular um, code editor i will explain what is code editor and all those things in coming days so just type visual studio code download like that okay just enter you will get some definitely it will be on top of the suggestions just click on it okay and uh, if you are using a windows machine just click on click here i think most of you us are using a windows machine if you are mac just click on that okay just click on this and it will download a, a file and double click on it and follow steps like you know right how to install few things okay don't try to uh, change the setting uh, the checkboxes or something whatever the default suggestions are there 
just go on install it no problem okay this is the third one so once you install it you will get like a visual studio code like this so if you just double click on it okay this is the code editor okay so even if you face any issues let me know simple this is the simple step so just click on this it will give a file and double click on that file and uh, it will ask few questions and click on next 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 it will install successfully and uh, if you have a so and cross check um, in the in your machine whether it is installed properly or not if it is installed properly it will be available in your control panel and you can open it okay this is the mandatory please complete by before joining the first session the third step is also done and the fourth one is a node.js okay node because we are using a javascript programming language and if you want to run javascript on a server we need a node.js node.js is not a programming language it is a runtime environment to execute javascript okay don't worry even if you don't know anything no problem just type node.js uh, download or something okay you will get the first one so node.js download if you just type in the google you will get the link like this just click on this one or just click on node.js or otherwise it's it's good just type node.js and click on enter you will get the link like https node.js dot organization like just click on that okay you will get this screen okay uh, the left side one is there right? that is the stable one don't install the right side one install the left le left side one okay just if you click on this it will also give a file so I will, I'm just clicking on this so if you see it will download a file once it is downloaded successfully double click on it and it will ask few question like accept or next 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 kind of thing just just proceed no problem it doesn't do any damage to your computer complete it okay once you install all these uh, things like one is the first one is Microsoft Teams account second one is a github account the third one is Visual Studio code, okay? You need to install this Visual Studio code software and the fourth and final step is you should install the node.js So how to cross check whether you install node.js properly? So just open your command prompt <clears throat> Okay, open your command prompt like CMD if you don't know what is command prompt just go to the control panel and search the command prompt okay double click on it okay and here just type node hyphen V okay if it is giving some number okay not only that I think if you install today maybe it will give a 16.17.1 okay okay i installed maybe few days back that's why the pre it's showing the different number don't worry about uh, the number but if it is showing like version 16 point something something that means you installed it properly so these are the four steps and uh, i think we are going to start on october 10th in the morning six o'clock so at least complete all these things by october 9th evening five o'clock so if still if you're not able to do it uh, just ping me in the whatsapp at least someone some of your friends will help you if no one is um, available i will try to help you okay that's all for this video and get ready and um, just remember always register things with the uh, email id or gmail id and always use the computer to do a practice and attending the sessions okay thank you and hope you are um, you will enjoy the trainings from october 10 bye bye